Hello and welcome back for another GRT price prediction update. And in this video, I'll be diving deep into the technical analysis here on the GRT chart and also give you my next price targets. And before I do so, show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership. And by first giving you my long term outlook here on the GRT chart, where you can see that after seeing our December lows, we saw a very nice spike to the upper side in a move that gave us a high at around the $0.2325 mark, completing the formation of this larger ADU 12 count one. Then afterwards, we started a very nice breakdown move in the formation of a larger ADU 12 count two, where we have been seeing no prices in this ABC corrective structure. And this minimum target area for the second wave, we have also fully maximized, suggesting that there are high chances that the low for the second wave is in. And soon GRT should be ready for that massive pump to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3. And all I'm keeping my eyes on here on the charts to give me a confirmation that the low for the second wave is in is a complete five wave structure to the upper side followed by an ABC corrective structure. Once you see such a movement on the charts, then that will be enough confirmation that the low is in and the start of an impulse in that wave three has now started. And there's an ABU 12 structure that I've been tracking here on the lower time frames and zooming out on the charts to give you my ABU 12 analysis here on the, that is the micro ABU 12 count on the charts you can see that GRT first gave us this massive crash on the 10th of June in a breakdown move that gave us a low at around the $0.0886 mark. Then afterwards, we have been seeing a very nice recovery to the upside in a move that has now peaked in that first wave, seen a breakdown move in the formation of this wave two, fully maximizing minimum target areas highlighted on the charts using this red target area. Then we saw that massive pump in the formation of that wave 3, where we picked in that wave 3 at around the $0.1446 mark. Then we started a breakdown move in the formation of this wave 4 in a move that has now managed to get into the minimum retracement areas highlighted on the charts using this area target area. And there are high chances that the low for the second, that is the fourth wave is now in, and GRT is now ready for another massive pump in the formation of these five so that you can be able to complete a complete uh, so that you can have a complete impulse in the formation of these larger area to count one. So there are high chances that as long as you continue holding within this red target area and also this fourth wave does not get into the wave one territory, then there are high chances that we are going to see that pump in the formation of that wave five and giving you minimum target areas for that wave five by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one, then dragging the Fibs to the high of that wave three, I get a minimum target area at the Fib level 0 0.618, and that is at around the $0.1614 mark, and that is the minimum that you can expect that wave five to the upside to do. Alternatively, in case we continue seeing further breakdown and maybe at some point we lose this retarget area, lose the wave one high also continue seeing further breakdown, then the next key area of support that we need to keep our eyes on is at around the $0.1145 mark where we can find support and then bounce back to the upper side. And in case we also lose that key area of support, then, ne then the next area that we need to keep our eyes on is at around the $0.1072 mark. And that is what I'm expecting here on the GRT chart. Also taking a look at the indicators on the RSI, we are trading at around the 43 mark. Also taking a look at the MACD, we have been able to print a bearish cross, suggesting further breakdown, though we are seeing a very sharp decrease in the selling momentum. So let's be patient and see how that plays out. And I will be keeping you updated.